Yeah, yeah, TD out here with the stuff. Y'all seen the video where he talk about, have you ever been swallowed? Have, have you been ever been swallowed up? Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed TD out here up? Wilding. Have you gone through a time of swallowing know, where man. everything was know. overwhelming and you the world is coming to an end. These folks is exposing themselves and these people. Welcome back to the channel, What Ifers. Today I got more weird and crazy TikToks that'll make you rethink everything. So stay locked in. Strap on your boots. Because you ain't going to believe this. I just did that to prove to y'all that these software these days are powerful. And you can't believe what you see on the media, man. Even with these reptiles or reptilian people. But let's get straight to the video, though. Ah, you thought I wasn't coming for you too, huh? I told you, I'm calling out everybody. You think just because you black like me, that you safe? I see right through you, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Y'all look at this shit. Do you admire somebody you respect or maybe even love? And it feels good. I mean, if you're seven years old and somebody, which I was trying to say this to my friends who had children, you're seven years old and someone is stroking your penis, it feels good. Even though you don't have a name for what that is, it feels good. And when I first said this years ago, people were like, you're crazy because everybody wants to believe it's like sexual assault and you're being thrown up against the wall and you're being raped. And I have said for years, if the abuser is any good, it, you won't even know it's happened. Oprah legitimized oh, wow. the notorious sex criminal Jao Tashira, mm. a.k.a. John of God, as a miraculous faith healer, one who could cure cancer, giving him international recognition. Jao Tashira is now serving 19 years in prison for the rape of four women. He is facing additional cases related to several sex crimes, including keeping teenage women as sex slaves in underground mines, forcing them to have his children, and selling their babies internationally for tens of thousands of dollars before murdering the women after about 10 years of childbirth. What? Oprah runs her own whoa, 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 leadership whoa, 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 academy for So you telling me that after the women gave birth and raised the children for 10 years, he kills them because he doesn't need them anymore? This nigga had a system. A $40 million school for disadvantaged girls where in 2007, several children were sexually abused and parents were only allowed to see their children once a month. It was very close with disgraced Hollywood yeah, mogul, kind of rapist, and abuser oh, Harvey Weinstein. Her Me Too documentary to ignored that. Weinstein and Jeffrey Epstein. Oprah was herself a teenage prostitute. She stokes the fires of racism in America. And she is a member of the Billionaire Club. Or the good club along with bill gates george soros warren buffett david rockefeller and ted turner the so-called good club meets behind closed doors and discusses plans for global depopulation the great awakening is upon us when will humanity begin seeing these billionaire celebrities for who they really are you know, man, I got a shout out with this Mr. Kez, Mr. Keys for doing that due diligence of finding that stuff. Cause I already knew that she was like into you no know, stuff like that, but I never went super deep cause it angers me when I hear it, you know, that they doing stuff like that to kids, you know, but if she did that allegedly, she needs to be put to D E A T H. I don't want to say the whole name. You know, I'm trying to keep everything copacetic here on YouTube. But that is foul, bro. You talk about crimes against humanity right there? Sound like she the ringleader to me. The Crystal Skull is 13 of them. Mm -hmm. I got three. Mm -hmm. Three. Mm -hmm. One of them is worth all the money that's ever been put in all the banks in the world. Just give it to me. Mm -hmm. So I called a girlfriend of mine that hooked me up with the Indians. And I said, hey man, just tell so and so. I, I don't know what I did, but my, I left them somewhere. So she called me, she said, don't worry about it, they'll find you. <laughs> and two weeks later, I walked in the hotel, they're sitting on the bed. Hmm? That's the power 
when you look inside of here. Hmm? Hmm. The crystal skull is 13 of them. Mm -hmm. I've heard stories about the crystal skulls, man, but I don't know if there's really any kind of validity to it. A lot of these stories are fables, you know what I'm saying? Ancient fables that people made up in ancient times and it just hurtled over into present times and people really like believe in that stuff, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of mythical stuff was going on, mythical and mystical, you know what I'm saying? So we really don't know. We are the first species. Pay attention, people. Earth, Pay attention. Be aware of evolution to be aware that we are affecting our own evolution by everything that we do the babies we eat the food we eat the car wars we fight we are the so i hate when they cut videos off like that and it starts back over like so he, soon as she said the babies we eat he stopped it right there like i ain't never seen this video and this video might have said something different but who knows no Sweet effing Jesus. Here's a challenge. Oh, I didn't get a chance to read it all the way through. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to mute that sound for sure. It definitely looks similar. It definitely looks similar, but There's a lot that goes into the cosmos, man. If you really understand it, you understand light years and you understand time and space and how that happens and how that works. Uh, the solar system is made up of vibration, man. And what you're seeing is vibrations. These, these so-called stars, which stars aren't what we think they are it's just balls of gas it's just like our star which is the sun and from super far 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 away this is what our sun looks like to other galaxies and other people on other planets the sun is nothing more than an explosion happening in real time that's all it is it's just a big explosion of energy. And it's been slowed down because everything around us is so huge and anything is huge. And, and you can do this scientific experiment in a, in a huge 18 wheeler. You can be doing 70 miles an hour in an 18 wheeler and it don't even feel like you're doing 70 miles an hour because of its mass. So everything moves slower. I said that to, to, to prove that everything moves slower. So what we are seeing is the vibration from far away. And if we were to get closer, that vibration would slow down. And all we would see is bright light. But what y'all think? So this creator has turned a Mandela effect into a money-making opportunity. Check this out. I 
officially have government documentation that Fruit of the Loom is lying about never being associated with the cornucopia. That we should first start off with this Frank West album, Flute of the Loom, which was made in the late 1970s and was a clear spin-off of Fruit of the Loom. I don't know how to credit a Redditor, but this one deserves an award because he went so far down the rabbit hole, he ended up reaching out to the son of the artist who created the art for the album cover. The son responded, making it very clear that Flute of the Loom was in fact inspired by Fruit of the Loom and the cornucopia was part of its logo. The Redditor even brought receipts and took a screenshot of his email conversation. The part I'm most excited about, this is an official government document for the Fruit of the Loom trademark, and if you look at the bottom, it said baskets of fruit, containers of fruit, cornucopia, horn of plenty. And I'm not arguing that there's no room for discussion about when and how this logo was used, but it's clearly dishonest for Fruit of the Loom to make us believe we're crazy for assuming that the cornucopia was ever associated with their logo. It still makes absolutely no sense to me how each one of us have a vivid memory of our childhood asking our mom what's in the Fruit of the Loom logo, and that's how we learned what a cornucopia was. In an attempt to back Fruit of the Loom into a trademark corner, I'm now selling these sweatshirts, which means I'm about to be sued for every penny I'm worth, but they'll have to admit the cornucopia is a part of their logo, or I will become a trillionaire. Either way, it's a win-win for me. Awesome sauce! <laughs> Yeah, she finna play them for real. But I vividly remember the cornucopia, though. Do y'all? Yeah, that that that's without a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. I think I actually have some old shirts with the cornucopia. And the fact that they're not denying it, it's gotta be somebody young in their in their human resource department that said that. It gotta be. Gotta be, bro. Oh no, 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 no. Oprah, where the hell are you going? No, no, no. So it has been reported that basically Oprah Winfrey is on the run, heading towards the bank with $100 million to Switzerland. Why Switzerland? No, 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 no. A hundred, where are you going with a hundred million? Since the fact that the Jeffrey Epstein Liz is about to drop because she knows her name is on it, we the people, we know her name is on it indefinitely. Now all of a sudden, a hundred million dollars heading towards the bank, towards Switzerland. Oh no. Mm -mm -mm. And it's not only just Oprah. A lot of actors and celebrities are leaving because they know their names on that list. The ones you haven't been seeing or hearing about lately, those are the ones that are dipping. Oprah Winfrey is on the run with a hundred billion dollars. She's going bye bye. The Jeffrey Epstein list is about to drop. And get her ass up out of here. Get her on up out of him. What TDJ doing now? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. TDH is over there dancing, not in this. First of all, why is this officer of the law dancing femininely to a Beyonce song? Waving his hand like he trying to tell somebody they should put a ring on. And like, I'm trying to understand. This is a TD Jake show. Why on earth is he allowing a man dance like a woman in front of him, in front of him? And the man is shaking his butt and all that stuff. And TJ is just looking at him and smiling and singing and dancing to Beyonce. How and why? He's taking all those good glances and looks, yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, TD with this stuff. Lord, no, that, that's not normal. How can you Ugh. allow that as a man of God? First of all, Beyonce. Uh, number two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, TD out here with the stuff. Y'all seen the video where he talk about, have you ever been swallowed? Have you ever been swallowed up? 
Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed TD up? Wilding. Have you gone through a time of swallowing know, where man. everything was <laughs> overwhelming and you? The world is coming to an end. These folks is exposing themselves, and these people need to be anathematized. Anybody who has created crimes against humanity or who do stuff that TD Jake has been alleged to be doing should be anathematized. There, I said it. Anathematized. Boy, back in the in, in the eighteenth century, if you said that word right there, oh, you had it coming. Nah, for real. Which I believe comes from a parallel universe. If you are not familiar with the Mandela effect, Empire Strikes Back, you need to Google it or you're not gonna understand what's on this tape. But y'all, I'm about to put this tape in and hit play, and you're gonna see absolute incontrovertible evidence that parallel universes and the Mandela effect is real. Here goes, y'all. I love the sound of the 80s music. Only one ever told you what happened to the father. He told me it now. Luke. He told me to kill you. I am your father. I am your father. That's how it always been. Yeah, I can believe that they either went back and changed it or that it's the Mandela effect. It's always been Luke, I am your father. Luke, I am your father. Like there were like certain movies that came out way after it that would reference that that phrase in the movie, and they would say, "Luke, I am your father." Everyone in the world knew it was Luke, I am your father. Everybody knew that. Come on now. Outside the uh, federal courthouse here in Lower Manhattan, and this is where Judge Loretta Preska has ordered that January first release date of more than one hundred. I always wanted to know that judge's name. Protect her at all costs. Judge Pereesco. Let's rewind this back and see what, what he said her name was. We're here outside the uh, federal courthouse here in Lower Manhattan, and this is where Judge Loretta Preska has ordered that January. Loretta Preska. Sound black to me. Release date of more than 170 names associated with a civil lawsuit that was settled uh, some time ago here, uh, but many of those names that will be released are Jeffrey Epstein's close friends, associates, and some of his victims. Now, the judge is also allowing those individuals uh, who would like to keep their names concealed or redacted uh, to file an appeal to make their case before the release of those names in less than two weeks. Now, many of oh, those man. names that will come out certainly are known and notable, including uh, former presidents, but they are all part of a now settled civil lawsuit against Ghislaine Maxwell brought by Virginia Jufre. Now, Jufre accused Maxwell of helping Epstein abuse her by arranging travel plans along with setting up meeting times and places around the world to facilitate her sexual abuse. Maxwell is now serving 20 years in a federal prison after she was convicted in 2021 for her role in a scheme to sexually exploit and abuse multiple teenage girls with Epstein over a 10-year period. Now, Epstein died by suicide in a Manhattan federal jail in 2019. So they say. trial on sex trafficking charges. The judge also noting in her order that some of the names that will be released have already been revealed because some of those individuals have spoken publicly about their relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. Meanwhile, at least 11 mm, names who will not is, be released, Trizant. including eight people who have been identified as minor victims of sexual abuse. Last night on Banfield, criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor Josh Schiffer talked about why some people are desperately fighting to have their names redacted. So there's a lot of reasons someone wouldn't want their name associated with someone whose name is literally everything bad in high society and regular society for that matter. Um, so if you were someone of particular current relevant importance, think someone big in finance, think someone big in politics, Jeffrey Epstein knew everyone. When you said earlier he, he palled around with royalty, now, Virginia Jufre also has accused Britain's Prince Andrew of sexually assaulting her uh, when she was 17 years old and being sexually trafficked by Jeffrey Epstein. Both Prince Andrew and Epstein were very known associates. Uh, now, Prince Andrew has denied those claims. However, he did agree to pay Jufre a multi-million dollar settlement. A Sad situation. I am hoping that they release this because... I ain't gonna never let it go when I find out. Never letting it go. It's just, you know, these are the people, these are the gatekeepers that hold people like me and you back. 
you know, the people that are trying to make something out of themselves, the people that are trying to have something nice in life, but they only want to select few. And I see why they only want to select few because they know not everybody is going to be down with that stuff. So yeah, we got to make sure you're down with this stuff before we can allow you to have these riches. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool, bro. And I've gotten to the point, like, I don't even want to be rich. Give me a good sa annual salary and I'm good. Give me a nice annual salary and I'm good. I don't need to know what y'all doing. As long as y'all don't come bothering my family and, you know, my friends, you know, and my what ifers, of course, y'all know, ride with y'all for sure because y'all ride with me. But yeah, I just feel like that, you know, uh, just give me a nice uh, amount of money yearly and I'm going to invest it. I'm going to put it into the markets. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to make a life for myself. But I, I, all this other stuff, bro, y'all can have that. Because I realized that this world is built upon duality. So you got a good side and you got a bad side. So I'm doing my best to stay on the good. You know what I'm saying? And y'all can keep your intrusive stuff to yourself. I don't want to be a part of that. What y'all think? Get this one now, yeah. yeah he's like, I'm at the West Hall. <laughs> We are literally driving to the Central Hall right now in the Tesla, good tunnel. We literally just got in, I saw your photos that I go to laugh and you say, I just got here, we're leaving. We lived here five years and I've never been down here. <laughs> well, this has only been open since Central? January 2021. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. I'm yeah. like, how did uh, I miss that? The, uh, I know that's what it's like. all the custom around. builders. Hi, at least you must have heard from besides you. what we're doing right now. So technically, we're just a transportation Damn, look how long service the for tunnel the convention is. center. Okay. Um, eventually, we will be a transportation service for the city um, to an extent. Because after SEMA last year, we did get approved for 30 more miles of tunnels to be put in. 30 Resort miles? was our first expansion onto that. I do believe Encore is going to be our next. But eventually, when it's all said and done, we'll be going up and down the strip, down the Fremont Street. This tunnel? Uh, well, not this one specifically, oh, okay. but like more expansion. Okay. Um, a wow. few other off-strip locations, Allegiant Stadium, and even mm -hmm. up to the airport. Wow, that's dope. Wow, so they got a whole oh, tunnel yeah. and a whole I like. Universal I wonder why. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> little club for the Teslas. Versus cars. So cool. No, not that I know. Uh, that's where the cars uh, gonna come from. I do Is believe it will always be Like Tesla they came down here? Um, on the, the, uh, the movie. Get this one now, yeah. yeah he's like, I'm at the West Hall. <laughs> we are literally driving. Like they came on that movie, Leave the World Behind. That's what they. That's where they go gather them all at, right down there, and then program them to go block all the main entrance ways off. <laughs> ah, that is crazy, man. So you thought that underground cities were fake? Oh no, they definitely real. And what you see behind me is the Darren Kuyu underground city. Now this is one of many underground cities that are still out there in the world that haven't been discovered yet. And this one was discovered accidentally when a man knocked down the wall of his basement. And when the archaeologists arrived, they revealed that this city was 18 stories deep and it had everything necessary for underground life, including schools, chapels, and even stables. It's said to be almost 3,000 years old and could hold up to 20,000 people. So... When them solar flares come, I might have to take a trip to Turkey. What do y'all think? Leave in the comments below for part two. I believe that there, were, there was once upon a time on this earth, there was a such thing as underground cities. And the reason why is because at one point of time, the sun was a lot hotter than it is now. And uh, I think that's just a part of life. And that's how the cosmos work. You know, a, a few thousand years, the sun is in a hot, super close to the, to the earth. So it's hotter. And then another thousand years later, it's further away and it just gets cooler. So, yes, I believe those things are there. But I don't believe it's there for no reptilian people. I really don't. This build, come on, Lola. This building... They built over whatever building that was underneath. Yeah. Yeah, so they did They it. built on top of a building. Why they did it? I don't know. And here's the border right here. Look at it. That's where the new building begins. Over the old building. Look, let's get... Because we're on the slant. We goes up. So you can see the old windows... Wow. I honestly believe it is that, true. They build all that stuff on top is still of used. Wow. It don't look old. 
still looks clean. Welcome back to Ancient NJ Tartary. I wanted to show you a picture that you probably have seen. This is in California, but they were excavating a parking lot and they found that everything is built upon and on top of another city. That is all around our realm. Here you see this was the state capital. It goes down like five floors. We did not build the Capitol building. Our founding fathers did not. They found that structure. They may have uh, changed it very slightly, but we've never built with domes and Corinthian columns. And also here, you'll see that there were either tunnels. The gist of it is that everything's built on top of everything else. And these are the three structures that are alike from London to the Vatican to the Capitol. Do you notice the same architecture and the obelisks? Mm -hmm. This is Rome in 1930. There are 40-foot mountains of dirt here. And this is a little meltology. These are buildings that have melted. And as you begin to, to study more in the Mudflood community, you're going to notice there was either a plasma event or a solar flare or a nuclear war that literally melted bricks. And and here we have somebody doing a repair to the sidewalk, and they found the whole building underneath. That is what our realm is. Buildings on top of buildings on top of buildings. I'm almost to the conclusion that we might be on a 100 or 200 year reset where there's always these mud floods and then everything resets and the survivors repurpose what they don't understand. And this is uh, Delaware Street, I believe it's St. Louis. Look at the dirt. I mean, look at how small the people look. And this and is there happening pictures. every place I mean, on the that road. wasn't that long ago. This is a church. If you pay close attention, could be you'll notice flare. that the door of the church is up high. The lighter color is actually the dirt that they removed. And then look how high the entrance of the doorway is, my goodness. This is a dynamic that I've noticed, though, that when the mud floods came in, they couldn't always dig it all out, so they just moved either created steps and made a new doorway. That's exactly how they've done it, and it's all around us. I was Ubering today, and I stopped on the corner of 14th Avenue in Newark, New Jersey. I believe the address is 88. And I look over and I see all these windows that are bricked over. This is a classic mud flood building. Do you see the stairs? Excuse me, <laughs> the yellow arrows, but I'm pointing to the, what would have been the first floor. And how they really just bricked over the rest of the windows. Look at this close up on this window. They literally just bricked over the windows and then painted it the same color. So I'm pretty sure that there's some type of logical explanation to that. But just saying that there was a mud flood or a solar flare and came and melt buildings. I don't know, man. We got to do some re some research on that one. I'm going to look into that one. And just like that, y'all, they are here. Welcome to my home state, Florida, boy. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. Look at these UFOs or UAPs, whatever they want to call them. I don't know why they changed their name. Obviously, there's a, a, a more diabolical reason why they changed their name to UAP because why? Wow. That looks so funny. Here we go. One, two, three. How many of them? Four. So you got five UFOs or UAPs or seven, and then you, then you have them being followed by military helicopters. What is going on in Florida? Florida is literally lit, y'all. Look at this. Now, again, I believe this is the U.S. military because they have these type of weapons. This is why they hide aliens from y'all. They don't want y'all to know that they are the ones that's putting these costumes on and pretending to be the aliens. But yes. I can believe that. 
look Man, at I the, can believe. that video right there is either for deception purposes or or them boys are really here and i can guarantee that this is for deception purposes only so y'all be on the lookout for what's happening with ufos and uaps next okay because i feel something's coming this video is yep, for entertainment purposes only true. let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below like share and follow for more y'all thank you for tuning to my frequency let's get the shift peace in take a look at this people now are these creatures from the ocean or are these monsters from the fifth dimension oh my god i believe those are called basque sharks yeah go look them up weird looking shark they they definitely exist basking sharks i think because as you can see they bask now are these creatures from the ocean they're just basking man or are these i drink the kool-aid you don't drink the gold juice so i was offered the gold juice three times in my 20s my 30s and what's my 30s. that pee a lot of golden showers in the Burbank. gold juice that i will live forever and i'll have whatever i want the mm. gold juice adrenochrome you never offer the gold juice no i'm it's i'm a scumbag comic what's the gold juice i don't know i don't know but i didn't drink it and i didn't want it and is this in I a notice when all the girls with certain girls on orange um change yeah it's a real thing it's like a real thing like it's all it a real, real thing and it's scary because it's an actual molecule send, like, that your body you creates. And they can like kind of moonlight as like a friend or, you know, and, and they're wolf in sheep's clothing. And, and, and listen, you can have everything you want, all the fame in the world, all the money. I'm like, hmm, what if I just drank it? But then I, you know what I mean? Like, what if I, and I don't know what it is. It's, if it's a metaphor for the gold juice, like, you feel what I'm, what I'm, what I'm saying? Mostly. And um, if there is a tincture that makes you younger, I better know where <laughs> you better let me in on this. If adrenochrome is real, I'll be well, first in line. She just said the name adrenochrome. Did you see this video? You see what page it is and, and how many likes and comments and all that. I went through the comment section. Why is the cognitive dissonance so huge that not one motherfucking person out of so far 625 commented this? Just listen to the information and believe. China has created their own sun, and it is claimed to be five times hotter than the sun. Oh, okay. China's east, a marvel in nuclear fusion technology, has just set a record, achieving a scorching temperature of 158 million degrees Fahrenheit for an impressive 17 minutes. This Bull achievement crap. marks a crucial step towards harnessing the power of nuclear fusion, a process that mimics the sun, offering a potential source of nearly unlimited clean energy. The temperatures achieved dwarf even the core of the sun, which reaches about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. For decades, scientists have chased the dream of nuclear fusion, the very process that fuels stars. This pursuit involves fusing hydrogen atoms into helium at extremely high temperatures, akin to creating a miniature sun on Earth. The tokamak design, resembling a donut-shaped chamber, superheats plasma to replicate these stellar conditions. However, achieving and maintaining such extreme temperatures for fusion has been a significant scientific challenge since the first tokamak was created in 1958. I just have to stop right there. I have to fucking stop because... <laughs> Did it say it got seven times hotter than the sun? In our atmosphere, huh? What? That now, I'm just speaking on NASA here. NASA says that, you know, it's a million miles away. And if we got any closer to it, any closer to it, we would burn. But we got something that's in our atmosphere that has seven times hotter than the sun. <laughs> Two. How the fuck is this staying up there? How's it flying? Well, wow, because it's mixed with helium. It's helium and something else that burns at such high temperatures. How the fuck is it flying? Are they controlling it? <laughs> Y'all don't believe this, dude. 
you know this is a cover story, right? So when y'all see two sons, oh, it's China's fake son. And y'all are like, yeah, this dude. If you do edit this shit and believe it, wake up. The movie that came out, it's mm, called like the, these the Earth Behind. So. This is the one with uh, Julia Roberts. Maybe yeah, yeah. one with the Teslas. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed the two kids wearing the t-shirts. No, I didn't, I didn't. One kid wearing an Obey t-shirt mm -hmm. and the other girl was wearing a NASA t-shirt. Obey NASA. Oh. A lot of people were saying, NASA, what does that, is a code for Satan. Everyone was saying like, oh, that NASA doesn't even spell that word. NASA always starts their countdown with T minus. Yeah, what's T minus? The missing letter to complete the word. No, that's crazy. The, the symbolism in the beginning and the middle and in the end. Yeah. Uh, the way they, they moved the movie was like through water, right? So there would be a painting behind the bed frame in the beginning and it would just be calm waves right mm -hmm. and then as the movie progressed and it got like crazier then it would be wavier that there would be another painting wavier oh, and then shit. at the end it would be pure chaos but that's crazy how they came up with that little theory about nasa and they start all the countdowns off with t minus and that's the missing letter to yeah that's crazy that's why i say i like them guys man because they just be having me going they be having me going bro maybe we should be looking for interterrestrials not aliens there's one continent inside the earth and one ocean their capital city is built around the original lost garden of eden the vegetation grows like a paradise the people live to be up to 800 years old. They communicate with telepathy. The Definitely AI generated androids that fly their flying saucers out to reconnoitre the outer Earth. Our government has been knocking flying saucers out of the sky and back engineering these flying saucers. The people that live in the hollow Earth are not extraterrestrials. They're from the lost tribes of Israel. Yeah, I don't know. I don't just, yeah. No, I believe in that. A YouTuber broke into the Bohemian Grove two weeks ago and captured everything in HD. This video is like the first of its kind I've ever seen. He got a ton of footage, but let me show you what he got of the owl. Mine. And that's the, uh, the owl statue. Holy fuck. Dude, I'm actually, I'm actually here. This is insane. Sound like it still got power and everything. Now that is absolutely insane. For those of you that don't know, the Bohemian Grove is speculated to be some kind of conspiracy theory of where the elite go to sacrifice people. They hold their weird rituals there and that's how they stay in power. The real definition is that it is an invite only elite club. Only the biggest names in the world can come here. Nobody really knows what's going on in there. They just kind of light an owl and go there. Seeing all this stuff up close and everything is absolutely insane. The fact that the owl is hollow blew my mind. Seeing everything overgrown and abandoned makes me think they moved to another location for their elite invite only club. It's probably somewhere underground at this point, to be honest. So yep, it's away from the public eye. People the person I filmed this on YouTube is Dancer1. Definitely go check out his video. It's half an hour long and it is amazing. He really snuck in there with a kayak and a cast iron skillet paddling. The dude is built different. Let me know what you guys think about the Bohemian Grove. Maybe something weird is going on there. Some kind of sacrifice, who knows. Y'all, this video pains me to make because I am a massive Fast and the Furious fan, but Vin Diesel is being sued by his former assistant for sexual battery. And trigger warning because this is gonna get a little graphic. 
This apparently happened at the St. Regis Hotel back in September 2010 while they were filming Fast Five. Everybody According to the suit, the needle the invited her back to his room, and since there were you other people there, she decided to go ahead and go. She claims that once the other people left, Vin Diesel grabbed her by the wrists and forced her to the bed and proceeded to grope and kiss her chest, despite the fact that she was telling him no and to stop. Now, this next part is where it gets a little bit more graphic, so definite trigger warning here. The suit also claims that Vin Diesel dropped to his knees, started to push her dress up towards her waist, molesting her body, running his hands all over her upper legs, including her inner thighs. Once she got free of that, she screamed and ran to the bathroom where Vin Diesel followed. He then reached for her underwear while he had her pinned to the wall with the side of his body. She claims that he then took her hand and placed it on his genitals before starting to pleasure himself while having her pinned to the wall. Within two weeks from that incident, she was fired and strong-armed into signing an NDA. And with the new Speak Out Act in California, she's finally able to come forward because the new legislation does not allow for NDAs like that when it comes to things like SA and harassment. Wow. It's going to be more. Diddy was the first. Oprah's second. Now him. Oh, it's coming. One of the most evil, vicious Navy bases in the history of the planet. They do stuff that would make <laughs> like Santa Claus. Diego Garcia. So, uh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Diego Garcia. Let him cook. That's where that first Malaysian plane is. That's where it landed. It had four scientists on it. Huh. 20 scientists, but four had filed for patents. It was Malaysia, but they worked out of Austin, Texas, for Texas Instruments. And the ones behind that plane was Texas Instruments, the government, and Boeing, who made the plane. Mm -hmm. And everybody is stupid enough to believe that a plane almost a block long can just disappear. Right. With the electronics we have, next generation of cars will come out. There'll be no driver. Every plane has a black four box. Of those top scientists. So how did it disappear? Filed for patents worth four hundred billion dollars. And then here's a friend of y'all's who's with us. So five of us filed for patents. If we die before the patent is granted, then. Your brother, who wasn't on the plane with us, he owns them all. Mm. So those four scientists and the fifth person was the Carlisle Group. Mm. They own them all now. The patent was granted three days after the plane was missing. <laughs> wow. wow. Is Earth actually a prison of the universe? This crazy theory may make you change your entire perspective on life. It suggests that the Earth is a prison and is actually a published hypothesis by an American ecologist named Ellis Silver. He argues that humans' true origin is not Earth and that we are actually aliens to this planet. We come from somewhere outside of space and have been exiled to Earth as a punishment for something we had done thousands of years ago. To support his thesis, Silver Cites scientific evidence that shows that although we are the most advanced and intelligent species currently on the planet, we are not very compatible with the environment. The evidence he used included the fact that we can be easily harmed by sunlight. Our inability. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, he, 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 I, he ain't talking about me because I can't be harmed by no sunlight. So I can't, I can't relate to that. To easily digest the food around us if it is not cooked and the fact no 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 it's got to be cooked for me sorry sorry i don't know what or who he's talking about we have a higher rate of chronic diseases than other species on our planet others have argued against this by saying that the diet we are on today is not what it was many years ago and which are facts the diet is pretty much the same but it's been it's been modified now. You got bioengineering in your food now. If you look on the back of it, that's bioengineered. Contrary to popular belief, it has always been bioengineered, processed. And, you know, at in, in earlier times, people were hunting their food. So 
came from it. It came in a more natural state than it does now. So yes, that's why we got chronic diseases because all of these fake and non-nutritional foods that we're eating, our bodies are trying to combat it. So that's where you get mucus and stuff. All this stuff, mucus and all that stuff is our body activating to protect us from antigens. And that's why you get the runny noses and all this stuff. Cause that's your body trying to get rid of whatever's in the inside of. So yeah, that's why I don't know what he talking about. Chronic diseases are all a result of the toxic food industry, yes. but that's for another video. The hypothesis stands that we were put on this planet as a result of the wrongdoings of our ancestors and that as a species we have not changed. As we are beginning to see, history repeat itself with the violent nature we portray today. Oh. It honestly blows my mind how nobody is talking about this. Watch this video, pay attention closely. Now he might be right a reptilian. Here, if you can even call him a man true that you want to fly commercials so that you can fly in luxury how much money did you pay for tyler perry's gulfstream jet for example well for example that's really none of your business but isn't it the business of your donors this, wow i paid <laughs> his eyes are weird bro that dude <laughs> weird the that we have that i bought from tyler perry okay. and i didn't pay anywhere anymore. tyler's one of the greatest guy he made it he made that airplane so cheap I so creepy, bro. I love your eyes. Again, getting back to the comment. You said that you don't the fly commercial because you don't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. Do you really believe that human beings are demons? No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. Yeah, that dude right there, weird, man. Hey, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And go over to the Discord, it's free. Send me videos you want to see me react to. But until next time, folks.